every every so often I get this, this feeling inside of me. It's like I want to yell at the world and tell it to wake the fuck up. I'm no different than anybody else. Why can't I be Daphne? Fucking Daphne. And I didn't mean like, oh, there goes that poor, poor Mutanai girl. Like, like, how does she do it? She's so, so fucking powerful and all. I don't want your fucking sympathy because you think I'm never going to be a rocket scientist or something. I don't want your deconstructive gaze or your passionate eye. I know what I want. I want to take a step back and really start thinking about moving to another planet where it can be me, Daphne. She's so fucking powerful and all. You hear that, baby? It's my heart wanting to beat against yours. Fine sister against my chocolate brown brother. Cause I love that brown skin. Chocolate mocha brown skin. I know you want this. Stop fronting like you don't. <laughs> I'm wondering whether I should even waste my time with you. Waste my precious breath when there's so many, many fine, educated men out there. No, seriously, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm one in a million. The divine creator, the oh my god, she's hot maker. I'm the one you want to appreciate, circulate. You better get on this bus because it's leaving, baby. You want it? Want it? Take it? Mm. I don't know. Maybe you might want to take this slow. Maybe I'll take your number to make you feel like you divided and conquered. And what was your name again? Breathe. Breathe. Just breathe. My name is Tula. I'm 32 years old. I live in a white apartment on the Kyle Way. I am a dreamer and passionate about my job, which I currently don't have. I love children and would love to someday have one with a man I see fit. Let's call him Bob. Bob and I love life. He would love life. Breathe. Breathe. That's okay. I'm okay. We're doing just fine. I have three wishes. I want to know what it feels like to be loved. I love life and I'm not afraid to die. I'm okay with this. And nobody will seem to mind. Will they? Will they notice me? Bob would escort them in and say, she's in there. She was a brave soul and I tried. I really tried. I was thinking about painting my healing room a mango green to kind of complement the gold crown molding I have run through the rest of the house. I think it would be visually appealing but also maybe make you want to eat food or something. Oh, like cinnamon snaps on mango with a, a dash of honey. I think like it would give the viewer an opportunity to gaze out through my window and see all the lovely nuances which are so apparently real and unnoticed. Like they would say, uh, Whoa, that's nice. I really like that. 
And I would say something like, uh, I think I do a pretty darn good job of keeping my house warm. I like to burn incense as I soak my body in coriander bath salts whilst revisiting the secret. And then we would look at one another and embrace or not. I, I think that's how it would go. There are so many ways I need to thank myself. I can thank myself for the strength, the wonderment, and the courage I've mustered up to become somebody in this world. <laughs> Don't all speak at once. But yes, I'm doing it, beating the odds. They made the rules and I'm breaking them. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. They will all jump at the chance of meeting me and write about it on their editorial walls. Rose, the woman who took it all. <laughs> I'm not the one to gloat over my deeds, but yo, I'm good. <sighs> Thank you, world, for proving me wrong. Believing I was right. <laughs> all this time. Look at me now. Look at me now. One strong sister. Thank <laughs> you.